everybody we're back we're also slightly crippled welcome back to tms sharp fe i am doing quite well uh we gotta heal up though this is the day after the uh horrible recording in which i dealt with a horrible encounter of yo kill these things in uh, at the very same time which uh to be honest Sucked really bad. It was bad. It was fun. It was bad. I'm finally recording this not at 5 in the morning, so I do not have to be horrifically. I'm, I'm going to be a bit, you know, a bit elevated in the voice. Because I've just typically been, you know, recording these earlier in the morning when I'm tired. And then just go from there. Alright, let's just beat shit up. I have no idea how much we've done of this dungeon so far, but I'm gonna assume not that much. We should probably switch our party up, actually, thinking about it. Alright, listen, you fucks. Stop it with your bullshit. I'm not gonna stand for it today. Like, I will re-get mad at this game. If that's what it takes, that's what's... That's what KZ's gonna do. Oh, God, my hard drive has, like, 20 gigs left on it, and I'm recording right now. Man, I'm retarded. Like, I should probably... Right, I'm deleting footage live. Right now. It's a good thing I, I upload stuff as soon as it's done, or else I'd be making a horrible mistake hitting yes right now. Hey, there we go. I got 200 gigs. All right, cool. We're, we can continue making videos. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Uh, I need to clear up space. Like, real bad. Because... <laughs> it's like, sure... These videos, when being recorded, take up quite a bit of space, but a lot of that space is from completed Let's Plays that are on YouTube, but, you know. I like keeping the master files. You never know when a copyright strike may make me want to move channels or some shit. Anyway, that's technical shit. That's nothing that you care about, but it's something that I can use for commentary, because I clearly don't have that much I can talk about all the goddamn time. Take caution! There's bullshit about! <sighs> oh man, you guys know how I feel about Amrita sodas. I think they're nice. It's a flash. Am I just being moved to the same room? No, this is different because... Uh, the... The... the I don't know, the screens were on top of each other before. Episode 1 and 9 were on top of each other, so it has to be different. I have to keep looking at the map. Where are we now? We are... We are where we were before. Like, we've been here. The difference is that we should go this way. Also, let's change casting. Gotta get in the uh, less leveled people. So, obviously, Ellie's gonna need it. And I can pick either or here. We'll pick Kyria, because she's generally a better party member. Not to say that M M Mamori, or whatever the fuck her name is, ain't good. Because she's good. But, one, one character has Megiddo, the other does not. And that's just something that we can't really hold against. Mamori. It's like, someone's gonna learn Megidola own maybe. And one is not. Savage. <laughs> Alright. Let's uh let's pop down a save and prove why we're bad at video games by losing to this uh savage enemy on easy mode. He didn't notice me. Why can't I get initiative, huh? You just know everything? Was this all according to your fucking plan? Ants, riddle me this, you bastard. Yes, Fuse. Yeah, the transformation has been ruined. 
Oh, we are fucking fucked. What is this? Eight million enemies over here? This is fucking five. Uh, three of them were weak to lightning, and we would get one session out of that. Uh, yeah, this is literally the best move I can do, it looks like. Fuck it, we'll play it out. I mean, if we lose, what do we lose out on? Nothing. You'll just, you'll just hear me whine a little bit, that's about it. Yeah, we're gonna fucking lose. Oh my god, you do. You know, back in my day, we didn't have to deal with this. I should probably lower my mic. If I'm gonna start yelling. Well, let's be honest. Now I am. I should probably lower that on my amp. All right, there we go. That, that's better. So, uh, what was happening? Oh yeah, we're gonna lose. Um. Oh, we can lower their attack. Ah, fuck it. Just get out of here. Like to be honest, we ain't gonna get out of this good. Like, the, the, that entire squad is going to have the ability to attack us for fucking, like, the whole time. Like, it's not fun. It's not fun. Now I feel like I want to raise my volume on the amp again. You see, I, I don't know what's appropriate audio or not. You know why? Because I'm an unprofessional piece of shit, alright? I spent, oh, oh, $180 on audio equipment at a discount, thankfully. Actually, you know... Counting the gift of the mixer probably would have ended up being like three hundred dollars. But point is, spent I've got a lot of expensive audio equipment. I barely know how it works, like literally barely. Where are we now? Fuck, fuck if I know, man. We're in the same place we were before. I'm gonna hit that thing, and we're gonna go down this way because this way apparently is unexplored. Ah, oh, fuck! <laughs> We're going to lose all. It's okay. We will never get have the jump gotten on us with a savage. We will just do that. Did I heal in the last fight, by the way? No, I didn't. Of course not. You know why? Because I'm fucking I'm fucking retarded. That's why. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Subasa. You're doing doing the Lord's work. I mean, you're not doing the Lord's work, because Itsuki is the Lord class. Actually, he isn't anymore, but... Fuck it, I was gonna make a clever joke, but that joke doesn't work anymore when I change classes. Where are we going now? Alright, so that was not the correct place to go. Because we're once again in this area. If I could show you the map screen, I totally would. Uh, but basically, the... Basically, there are doors around this dungeon with question marks past the door, which are basically telling you you're gonna warp somewhere if you go through this door. And if you go and if you go through the correct door, you will find progress. If you go through the wrong door, you will find yourself doing trial and error once again. This one's doing extra load, so obviously it was correct. And will you look at that? Can we break this? No. Oh, I thought this was one near the entrance. What do you have to say, Abomination? Oh, you part of the cast? What you doing? The filming's about to start. Get to the site in the back. Oh, if you want some tips, try looking for hidden lesson panels. Sure, the coaches have even you filthy fucking casuals will get some sense knocked into you. I got a bad feeling about this. Might be best to try and avoid the lesson panels. So, which of these blue blocks are the lesson panels that I have to avoid? Oh, there's the boss. There's the dude. What are you doing? Are you, like, having fun? He went through the door with the number one on it. There's a teleporter over there. I need that so I can leave. Because <laughs> I probably need to equip carnages. You know, learn skills. First of all, fuck off. Hi. Ah! 
Okay, maybe I should not scream in horror, but sorry. Uh, I want you to defeat the antagonist within four rounds. Hello. Damn you! I mean, I can do that. Four rounds is very generous. <laughs> Ellie, stop sleeping, you little shit! You, you could have at least hit Ellie so she'd wake up, but, you know. Unleash it! Yes! There, that was one round. Three to go. Ad-lib, boys! We're ending this now. Oh uh, yeah, she can't she can't participate in sessions if she's fucking sleeping. Wake up! Oh my! Kill her! Okay, that sure was an adventure. Three speed? I mean, sure. You're a fast girl. Ellie learned more speed as a result of spending an entire battle sleeping. She's was like, yo, that was some hot shit, man. Oh, fuck. Okay, so that lesson panel just straight up gave me status ailments. So, uh, from now on, when we do a lesson and we're on this pad, we heal first. That's what we do. Oh, Estoma is not. I was thinking of an Amarita spell, which we do not have. So, but we have Amarita sodas. One friend. No! 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 Where do I go then? Ah. Damn it. What the hell's this? Press it. What's that do? Nah, well. Does that reset what those buttons do? <laughs> No, these do the exact same thing, looks like. Ah, oh, fuck! Stop it! You start taking my EP? That's the good stuff, man. What a bunch of fucking assholes. Fuck! <laughs> oh, this does move those. I don't know what I would want. Oh crap. Uh, ow. Well, clearly what we need to do is we need to rearrange these blocks so we have safe passage. Candle of Grudges, gold. I don't know what that is. Yeah. Yeah. What? Why did you turn around? What are you doing, Itsuki? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, God! Look at those things. Get out of here. 
I'm trying to find progress in this dungeon, and if I stay in battles too long, uh, I'll suffer short-term memory loss and start doing worse. And I really don't want to do worse. I'm going to be honest here. So... Uh, uh, that's how I came in. Is there any way to get to the left? Take the the left Take staircases? Okay, I can get to this one. Nope. Oh, this is the one he came to. Oh, well, we found progress then. Oh, well, we're all done then. But what would this button do? Well, there's something over there. As much as I'm a lover of progress, I feel like we should at least check. I fucking hate this place. Oh, we can't even go over there. We're straight up trapped. Fine. Alright, we're leaving. We're leaving. Treport me out. I need to see if I can make stuff. Huh. Get a drink. I feel like strawberry mochi would be very nice right now. Mamari likes it. She's like, yeah, it's great! And that is in no way what she sounds like, but, you know. Hello! I need the Blades of Chaos to help me right now. Carnage Unity is powered up and you can strengthen Carnage after skill inheritance is completed. By strengthening, not only do you increase its attack, but you can relearn and also learn new skills. Just like performing normal Carnage Unity, select the Carnage you wish uh, to strengthen and then perform Unity on it. Uh, let's see, Kaede can make Alicorn, Kane makes Slepnir, Tharja makes the Death Rod, and Viran makes Azusayumi. And learned a bunch of these. Open audition, okay. These I actually saw on Gaff. I, I I hang out in that thread just to get tips. Like I'll occasionally see people talking about stuff. Open audition apparently is the uh, unity that I want because that is one where if they are not in the in in a battle and they're in the back background, that they get to do the things. They get to do. Uh, they get to join in on a session. So. So say I don't have Subasa in the party. She will just jump in and do stuff. Now I'm pretty sure I can only do one. Oh no, they each uh, they 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 each have their own performa that is unique to it. So, if we do skills in such a way, we have the potential now instead of having a session of three attacks, we'll have a session of five. Finally, like that's something I've been waiting for for like ten thousand years. Carnage Trainer. 20% of Carnage Master gained by Itsuki will be distributed among the sub <laughs> That's called Casey fucked up a word and is like, nah, maybe if I make a dumb noise, it'll make it all go away. <laughs> it didn't. Whatever, that's gonna help for Carnage levels, I guess. Alright, we need to get, at, I want to get at least two Carnages, like, on my characters. From henceforth, the carnage where all skill inheritance has been completed will have a plus sign at the end of its name. When you select a carnage with a plus and perform unity, you'll be able to further strengthen that existing carnage. If you wish to create a new carnage as normal, uh, then choose one that does not have a plus on it. So you can get Matador plus one. Uh, the next skill it would learn would be a move that does well against horsemen called Espada. So you can just ulk your all over him. 
Do I have anything that I can, like, give him? Well, I can give him pluses, but I can't give him anything, like, newish, I guess. I mean, this is... It'd be good to give them these, I guess? Because the... You know, learn new skills, I guess? Yasha Soul... I have to be honest, none of these are that good. <laughs> like, I'm looking and it's like, nah, fucking... We'll, we'll try someone else. Like, you have Alicorn. And Alicorn seems good enough. Alicorn, you will learn Diorama, Null Charm, and Mutudi. So, we will give, uh... We, we will give you this. And it fits, uh, fits your look. Alright, um... You need something as well. Oh yeah, you got slit near. Alright, yeah, uh, we'll just need to get a... We'll get one for you, and then we'll have to... We should be able to get one more, is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Uh, Slepnir will give him uh, Sword Blaze, which he already has. Life Aid, Resist Wind, and Inferno Strike. Uh, heavy Fire Attack. Alright. Tharja. Death Rod. Give her uh, Fire Wind, Ice Expertise. And I'm gonna kind of go on priority here. To be honest. Uh, I should give it to her. She hardly has any new skills, to be honest. She's mastered the longbow, and that's it. She hasn't actually used a different weapon yet. So we'll get her the Asu uh, Asuza Yumi. For bow expertise, watchfulness, dazing shot, and sword snipe. Yeah, and you, of course, equip that. She also learned a thing I skipped through, because I'm not used to that actually happening. When I make weapons. Hmm. Let me, th let me look through my items real quick. Then I have some... I did, did. If it'll please the court, we're gonna jump in the DLC dungeons real quick. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, for about five bucks, you can pick up a, a value pack of three dungeons that will give you various different, um, ways to level up a little faster. Um, in them, there are four corners to the dungeons, and in these corners, there are items. They, these items, uh, is random what they end up being. Uh, typically, they will be a gold bar, which is sellable for about at least 30,000. I would say it's like 50,000, but I'm not too sure on that. And as well as whatever consumable item, whatever item you would want for this, for this area. Uh, but the items also disappear. Uh, these items basically are for improving that type of thing like uh there are three types of dungeons and uh i actually didn't get much out of this but you know i might as well leave i kind of just wanted to explain it uh for this area it's weapon mastery and they drop skill books here skill books are uh items that should you use them the next fight that you participate in uh when you reach the results screen you will literally have zero points left to learn a skill, and boom, it just pops up, and, and then you earn it. So it's a really good way to grind out uh, carnages very quickly. It's something to do really, really cool you can do in between, like, chapters or in, in, in between getting ready. I had to do quite a bit of that. Uh, there's the same thing is also prevalent in the form of a, a consumable item that's supposed to level you up. Now, someone in the comments can maybe uh, educate me on this, even though I'll probably find out before then, but it's, you know, something interesting. A person who plays this can comment anyway. Um, uh, 
Uh, something that bothers me about it is that I downloaded and got the DLC for, you know, higher experience, used the consumable item on Itsuki, for example, and got a level up immediately from it. Used the consumable item on Itsuki again and did a battle. He gained, like, three experience and didn't level up. And then it happened again and again. So I don't really know how they work. It seems like the game has hard-coded a you can't level past... You can't level past a certain point. And even the items that are literally programmed to say you will gain the experience equal to what you need to level doesn't work. So I don't understand what's going on with that. I mean, it's like they included items that are basically supposed to break the game for you. But the items don't actually break the game. It just seems we really weird and inconsistent, especially given that the skill books work perfectly fine. With that being said, I'm obviously going to equip it to the people that have carnages, which are these three. Hey, buddy. あれ、なんで私謝ってるんだろう。あらな。今は<笑> やっさの演技力がものを言うぞ。翼、やれそう。うん。頑張ってみる。何が頑張ってみるだ、俺め。同人人の前にこの難しいシーンの演技がいきなりってくれ。女の見るまでもねんだ。え。極の偉いさんの
ここはハリウッド的スーパー女優エレオノーラの出番フリーちゃん I love that they all approve instead of rolling their eyes. I'm impressed. この状況は舞台でも演劇でもないと現実だと思うことお手本を見せてあげるわハリウッド仕込みの私の演技エレオノーラアプローチ見てみたくないタラチの監督さっきの赤いのといいおせっかいなことだなはいやってみろあ、uh, they're gonna force me to do Subasa and her in the play. いくわよエリー君、わかってるね。貴族的にスマートに決めるのだよ。行くぞ。よーいアクシハニーさん、人質を解放して、投稿してくださいあなたにはまだ確かにお前は大切なもんを失ったかもしれねえけどな今でもお前を愛してるやつがいるんだよ、うん、俺は俺は俺は間違っていたのかえっそうざっとこんなものね口だけかと思ったらパッションが感じられた。Yeah, can you just recast and switch the roles? パ,パッションエリーちゃん、パッションだよ。ああ、ああ、ああ、知ってるわよ。私食べたことあるから、ハリウッド的には常識よ。<笑>実際に演技してみてどう思ったイメージしてみる10秒ちょうだいあ、ok、こう1、2、3、4、5、6、7、8、9、10助けて Can you do it? だ、大丈夫だいえ、なぁと思うわただでさえ性格が変わる瞬間が苦手なのに今回はアヤハが人質になって冷静に演じられるはずがないのよアヤハを確実に助けるためには先に演技の方針を決めるべきよ、翼。うん、<笑>待っててね、お姉ちゃん。絶対に。Just wait here. I need to go back and get a performer before I can do this part. All right? Give me a moment. 